So my name is Dylan Johns. I'm the assistant project manager uh, for the city's Thomas at Calmont storm drain rehabilitation project. Uh, the primary project manager is Mike Bennett. He's also on the call. Um, this is a project that uh, came out of the city's storm drain rehab program. Uh, it's a program to proactively um, identify and maintain aging storm drain pipes and uh, complete repairs to prolong their service life. Um, the basis for the investigations that are done through this program are uh, areas with historical pipe failures or areas that we know uh, have aging uh, storm drain pipes uh, because the areas were built out decades ago. And uh, there is institutional knowledge within the city as well uh, where we know of uh, problematic areas to uh, focus our efforts. Um, to identify and prioritize these projects, we use a contractor that conducts closed circuit TV inspections of the storm drain pipes. They use a uh, uh, basically RC car uh, as a, with large tires is the, I think, best way to describe it. That will actually drive up the pipes and uh, record uh, the condition of them. Uh, the city has a consultant under contract that then reviews those videos to identify the pipe defects, and then the pipes are prioritized uh, based on the defects that are present. Um, through this program, we try to utilize trenchless technologies to uh, repair the pipes to uh, minimize surface disturbance. However, um, some of these projects, that's not possible due to the condition or location of the pipe. So open cut repairs or pipe relocations uh, are done when necessary. Some of the trenchless technologies that we utilize on these projects are cured in place pipe, also known as CIPP. Um, it's a uses a canvas like pipe that's inflated into the existing pipe and is then cured and hardened using uh, steam or UV typically. Uh, geopolymer pipelining is another trenchless technology. It's basically a spray on concrete with polymers uh, mixed in with it that will bind together when it hardens. And so it forms a new pipe inside of the existing pipe. We'll sometimes utilize pipe bursting as well. Um, that's a method that uses what's basically a large drill bit that is pushed through the existing pipe and breaks that pipe up and kind of pushes it out of the way into the surrounding uh, soil. And then a new pipe is pulled into place right behind that uh, drill bit um, once the pipe is broken up. Uh, unfortunately, on this project, we are having to uh, relocate the pipe due to the condition and location of the existing one. Uh, this project was identified through the storm drain rehab program. Uh, the existing pipe is quite old and is showing signs of deterioration. Uh, that picture on the left is from the TV inspection of the pipe that we're gonna be rehabilitating with this project. Um, we have to repair the pipe to prevent any uh, fail pipe failures, such as a collapse or something like that. And we're, we chose to relocate it instead of rehab it in place due to its proximity to existing structures. Uh, we thought it was best to move it away from those structures for uh, maintenance ease um, in the future and uh, to protect the uh, structures that are there. Uh, this project is going to be along Thomas Place from Calmont to Pershing. Uh, it's the area right around South Highmont Elementary. Uh, it will also be working along Pershing Avenue between Thomas and Tremont, although we'll only be working on about half of that block. Uh, Pacheco Coke is the engineering firm that's uh, doing design for this project and will also be assisting us with construction. Um, the storm drain pipe is going to be relocated to within city right away. It's going to be basically right down the middle of the road on Pershing and Thomas. Uh, there's some existing utilities on uh, closer to the curb on both of those streets that prevent us from moving it to one side or the other. 
we are going to have to uh, replace some sewer pipes and water services. Um, their existing location is going to be in conflict with the new storm drain pipe. So we're going to be relocating them to get them out of the way for the new pipe. Once the new pipe is in place, um, the old storm drain pipe will be grouted in and left where it is uh, with fit by filling it with grout will prevent any future pipe failures because it will just be one solid piece. Um, we're planning to advertise this construction contract for bid this summer, and we're expecting to start construction in the fall. So to give everybody an idea of what kind of uh, traffic impacts you'll see with this project, uh, we will be temporarily shutting down um, lanes along Thomas and Pershing Avenue uh, for construction. We will allow residents to get to their driveways and uh, get to their homes. Um, we're not going to cut anybody off for an extended period of time, although there may be uh, short periods during the day while the crews are actively working on site when your driveway may not be accessible. However, the crews will be coordinating with anybody affected to let them know uh, when their driveway will be impacted. Uh, we will be impacting uh, traffic around the school with this project. One of the main impacts from that is going to be the bus stop along Thomas Place. Uh, we're coordinating with school staff to try to minimize our impacts to them and get alternative pick up and drop off locations for the buses worked out. Um, We'll also have to cross the Birchman and Thomas intersection, which I know is used by uh, school traffic for pickup and drop off. And we will, our contractor will be required to keep that uh, intersection passable for cars during pickup and drop off hours to uh, make sure that uh, parents can still uh, get there and pick up their kids and um, uh, leave without too much of an issue. Um, with all that being said, um, that are the contact information for myself and Mike Bennett is on the screen. Uh, please feel free to call us or email us with any questions about the project that come up. We will be having at least 1 more. Uh, meeting on this project before construction starts uh, that meeting will be our pre construction meeting and the. Contractor that wins the bid on this project will be present for that along with the city inspector. Um, so, does anybody have any questions? We do not have any. Questions in the chat, Dylan. So, All right. Well, if we don't, we do have a call in user. Hi, Dylan. Mike, I think that's Trey and I. We're calling in on a on a phone for more audio. Okay. Oh, okay. I I was wondering if that was uh, y'all. I saw that you're uh, next to Kevin's name. You didn't have a microphone or anything, so I thought y'all might be having some audio issues. Yeah, that's uh, right. We're using that for a little bit better audio. The the webcam we're using the, the audio is not the best. So. Not surprising we didn't have anybody here for this really. Being recorded. Yeah. 